Hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, Diaries of Death. My name is Saigon and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death, uh, which is uh, a hardcore World of Warcraft uh, series where we're trying to beat the game uh, without dying a single time. We're on Stitches. Uh, which is a hardcore server. Today we're going to see how Razorfang Crowl, another dungeon, is going to look like. So, uh, we've just got an hour uh, spells. I think uh, I'll try Mage Armor this time and we're combining it uh, with a Elixir of uh, Defense. That will still keep our... Um, that will ke uh, still keep us reasonably well uh, protected from a mana standpoint and at the same time um, we are regenerating mana. So what I wanted to say is it keeps us reasonably well protected from a armor perspective and we're regenerating mana at the same time. Apparently they just don't care about the ads. a little bit weird. Guys, are you are you serious? Okay, I need to be really careful with this group. Maybe this guy is multi-boxing, I'm not a hundred percent sure. One thing is for sure, the tank is blatantly ignoring mobs that are running away. Alright, okay, spell damage is nice. can clear cast relatively well with the armor. With Mage Armor 30% of your mana are regenerating during the pulse and this to me looks a bit uh, during your casting and this to me looks like a group where we are definitely uh, going to pull a lot and very quite uh, frequently. I will stick true to my principles and not go out of mana too often. Specifically on easy pulls I I will simply drink if needed. Very easy to aggro up here you're positioning yourself incorrectly and Razorfing uh, Crowl is one of those dungeons which starts relatively low and then gradually becomes more and more intense. People are looting during uh, the fights. Oh my lord. Tank seems to be very well 
uh, handling all of uh, the uh, damage. Let me just inspect him for a second. Yeah, well crafted gear. enchanted okay all right so likely a twink of sorts to get Fae leave. That's legit. But to be fair, their rock is dealing a lot of damage granted. It's uh, overleveling uh, the area here quite a bit. You know, it's all fun and games until the tank eventually uh, will drop and then we do have a problem. I'll just focus on making sure that these guys are not running away. No one else is. Problem with the uh, mobs that are running away is you're ending up eventually in a situation where they pull another pack and then that other pack leads to even more problems. So the extra mana regeneration works out nicely in our favor. And given that everybody else here is running with Wind Fury, uh, we're oftentimes in the longer fights uh, continuing to be number two on the DPS meter. That's respectable. just how little damage that ruin has taken. Fabulous. All right. First uh, boss, egg and tur uh, totem curse. Can't stand there. Bit 
of a strange position to tank him, but okay. Okay, apparently no quests here. Uh, Must have missed them at the entrance, that's unfortunate. skipping these guys that's not clever okay whatever as long as there is still a way out of the, uh, the dungeon which there is into the ledge As long as that is okay, I'm. I don't mind uh, skipping something, but I wouldn't do it personally. Fire spell damage is nice. Uh, would be even better if it would have been frost damage. got ourselves a new ring I think ours is better. Neat little item though. dangerous I will just frostbolt both of them that way they can't easily move away since the rogue rather prefers to use wind fury to uh, totem in, uh, instead of is slowing poison, but it is what it is. Yeah. 
shadow spell damage. That's not bad either. We just need frost spell damage. The good old plus 20 frost spell damage. It's interesting that he does a ready check and I say not ready yet and they still go. That was a little bit closer. It wouldn't have uh, been very close if the rogue just zapped one and I sheep the other one. that uh, some of them are just not thinking about what happens if uh, these guys are running away. Other than that, the tank is pulling very well, but boy... We're having a lot of double and triple pulls. Good, let's take a good zip. No one seems to be in serious trouble. Might as well. Same deal. Let's make sure that these guys are not running away.
Yeah, as long as his hit points are fine, I can just drink up. Easy. Gotta admit, I was skeptical about his multi-pulling strategy. But it ended up being not that bad. To be fair though, many of the mobs here are not really mobs, but rather kind of uh, hybrids, casters. So naturally, if you interrupt them well enough, there isn't that much damage. say mage armor worked definitely in our favor so far the 30% regeneration just pays off in the long run From a threat meter, it's interesting. We're still that uh, far below the tank threat. Thanks to our frost spec. So far, I'm super happy with uh, the performance. Lots and lots of uptime together with mage uh, armor. And being beaten by wind fury rogue. Ah, that's not the worst thing to happen. Specifically since he is likely quite well equipped and two levels above me. Get the beds down. I will update my mana a little bit. Just drinking to full. The priest is uh, full, and it always uh, feels like when I'm at, at around. 10% mana, there is not enough wiggling room when things are really going south.
Okay. We are, again, not focusing on the holdings. They rather accept a lot of damage. Should've counterspelled that, by the way. is raging uh, rampage and rage and left for dead yeah but the tank is holding aggro very nicely we're not even close to the top threat meter Stagger, our rogue will be happy about that. Still thinking this guy is multi-boxing. Rope is back online. Or they just have a really bad connection, but then why would they play hardcore with such a bad connection? They are nice and slow, 60%. Drink through the next one. Oh, nice. We got uh, the, these guys in silence. I forgot about that. here priests you might run the risk of pulling something aggro and that's a really good uh, cloth piece need from my end oh 
Well, unfortunate. case thank you uh, in that case big thank you because we are now having bad uh, wings mantle aka batman's mantle And why? Because I'm Batman. We will let the tank get aggro first. and far enough away from the others to not get the chain. I mean, we got equally good items and they already get gifted us the shoulders, so go ahead, guys, and knock yourself out. Alrighty. Alright, we teleported out. Um... That was interesting, quick and easy. I was just trying to get the information whether or not uh, there's another group ongoing. Unfortunately, the answer at the moment seems to be no, uh, which uh, then tells me that this is a fantastic moment to uh, say goodbye. Thank you for the viewership. Hope you appreciated the Razor Ring Crowl and uh, see you all next time in the diaries of death have a good one bye bye